Hi, I'm Vicky Saunders from the Sponsorship Consultants. And I wanted to clear something up at the start of 2017 because I found that it's the most commonly searched term on Google when it comes to athlete sponsorship. And I think people might be sort of missing the mark. So it is, how do I write a sponsorship letter? Now, that in itself is important to clear up. A sponsorship letter is in my book, the cover letter or the cover email that introduces the sponsorship proposal. Now your proposal, it could be a video, could be a PDF or a printed document. That's the thing that tells a story about your sponsorship proposal. Who you are, what you're asking for, what you're offering, why you're choosing this particular company. So that is the thing that's introduced by your cover email, by your sponsorship email or letter. Now, the letter itself should be really short and sweet. All you're doing is introducing this proposal. You're saying, hi, hopefully you already know the people that you're connecting with. It's not just a random email to any old person. And you can really rest assured that if you've got your proposal right, all this letter has to do, all this email has to do is introduce it. Now, these are busy people. They're getting loads of proposals. And what you want them to do is look at yours. So make the cover email really short and sweet. Make it to the point, make it accurate and respect their time. Now what you'll be doing, if you make it a long email, they may not read the proposal. They may have spent five minutes reading that and gone, do you know what, I'm busy, I got other things to do. So keep it short. If you, if you make it short, you're actually showing them how good you are to work with. You're showing them that you can communicate clearly and effectively, that you respect their time, that you have a process and that you understand how sponsorship works. So it really works in your favor to challenge yourself to keep that short, two or three paragraphs at the most. Now, when you're writing it, think about who you're writing it for and it will help you choose the language that you use. Be true to yourself, but also respect the person that's receiving the email. Now, maybe they're a very formal traditional company. So you're gonna to need to take that dear Mr. Peterson approach. They might be someone that you know, you've spoken to before and you understand that they're, they're pretty easy going, but this is still a business conversation. So you need to be respectful. So you can go from being very formal to being friendly. And that might be, dear Mr. Peterson, thanks so much for taking the time to have a look at my proposal. I'm so excited. Can't wait to hear back from you. P.S. I hope you love the picture of me summiting Mount Everest. It was the most amazing moment in my life, etc. Now I haven't summited Everest, but I reckon if you've done something like that, it would be good to just throw it in. So what you're doing is you're enticing the person to then look at your proposal, but you're not giving it all away. Now, the other way you could do it, we've talked about formal, we've talked about friendly. What about fun? If you've got something creative, if you've got that kind of personality, you're a bit fun, use it because you're showcasing yourself. One of the coolest sponsorship cover letters I ever saw was one that was from um, an ultra runner. So they get pretty dirty out there on the trails. And it basically said, hey, I'm an ultra dirty ultra runner. Can your ultra washing powder keep me clean on the trails? And pretty sure they ended up with sponsorship. So judge what the right approach is for you. Keep it short and simple. And remember the purpose of a sponsorship letter is to introduce the proposal. Now we've got loads and loads of tips videos, podcasts, and everything to support your athlete sponsorship journey on our website, www.thesponsorshipconsultants.com. See you soon.